are here in Melbourne, Australia for the YouTube Creator Summit. And we just went to some panels and now everybody's doing team building exercises. We, however, have left them all so we could do some stomach building exercises because we want to experience what food in Melbourne is like. Yeah. Wonder bow, wonder bow, does whatever a wonder bow. Who likes cheap, delicious eats? I do. Wonder Bao is under the top 10 Chinese food restaurants in Melbourne and it's supposed to be like really cheap, really fresh, really amazing. And I love dumplings. You know I love dumplings. Ducky, do I not love dumplings? You love dumplings. I love dumplings. Everything sells out really quickly so we gotta go right, right the F now. We've got three different kinds here. They are fresh, they are soft, they are wonderful. All right, let's, uh, let's just get straight into this because you don't want it to get cold. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I can already tell just by ripping it apart how soft it is. The closest that we have in Japan is like the pizza bun, right? It's like a giant steamed bun. It's kind of like this, but it's a different taste altogether. Here we go. somehow takes me back to Beijing flavors. It's got that multiple spice flavor. It's a bit sweet, it's a bit savory, it's a bit salty, and it's porky. It's got like so many different things happening in your mouth. That's just something that I love about living in Asia is that all the different cuisine flavors are, are it's never just like a flat flavor, you know? What flavor was that one? Pork something magic. I like how we ordered this like a minute ago. We don't remember what it is. We're gonna get this, this, this. I'm gonna have to open it up and see what's on the inside. How can I possibly know? You know what I love doing? I love I don't know why, I really like when the paper sticks to it. There's something so satisfyingly sticky. What are you talking about? You always remove labels. Of course you love doing that. Ah, right, I love peeling stickers off things. Okay, is this the char shoe? Oh, boy. There's a sweetness to this. You usually get a sweetness with like a sauce on the meat, like a orange chicken or something like that. But this has its own inherent juicy, succulent, sweet meatiness to it. This is wild. There's so many different textures in here. You get like the smoothness of the meat with a little bit of the bite of the mushroom at the same time. I got a little piece in here of Sausage. Oh man. Every flavor. There's so many flavors in this. Is this an egg? That's my half. How oh, dare you, sir? I gotta, How I, dare you, sir? Okay. You tore it in half. You hey. cannot take my half. You're really gonna like this. You're really gonna like this one. I'm saving the egg one for you, love. But first, I just love the bread here. The velvety gloss here. It's like sweet marshmallowy rolls of bread. Oh my god. I gotta say, I become a bit of a food snob since moving to Japan. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I'm a definitely food snob. I I love this. This is great. I'm so glad we waited for this. Mm. Imagine all the things you could put in buns like this. Did they make it with peanut butter and jam? They got so many other flavors. We gotta try out the flavors, girl. This is nuts. Okay, so we just walked all the way from Wonder Bao here to Donut Time. It was a gorgeous walk with tons of great food. We came here specifically for donuts. Eight dollar donuts, it seems like. And that's what we're gonna eat now. Our favorite donut shop in Tokyo just shut down, but I got my donut fix right now. What's this one right here that we got? Nope, that's the stupid one. I'm getting the good How one. Dare you? This one right here. Is that snow on the ground? No, that's just foam and spit. <laughs> Let's go to a different location. Okay. Oh boy, I'm ready. Hey, for I this. think we should play a game first to see who gets the donuts. No, I, I remember that pain. So this one right here. Ooh, it's so sticky. I could feel how dense this donut is. Other donuts are usually really fluffy. This is a dense cake. Here we go. Take a look at what's inside, boys. 
Oh boy. Oh wow, look how dense. This is like a really thick donut. Here we go. I want to tell strangers that they should go buy donuts here. You should people that spin the signs. I want to just be outside like, this is a really good donut. People are coming. This is such a great contrast. And the creaminess of the filling with the burnt toffee crunchiness on top and the cake all in between. All these different textures and sweetnesses make for a very happy boy. I am really digging Melbourne. Can I just say? Cool place, I am eh? really digging this place. You guys can't see this, but like we're in this little alleyway that is really reminiscent of like Sweden and Norway and it's just super cool looking. Also, when we were waiting for donuts and we were staring outside and looking at the donuts, two people came up to us and I think they wanted to sell us drugs. He had a backpack and he's like, how you doing buddy? I'm like, I was looking at donuts. <laughs> and he's like, oh are you? So I'm not sure if that was a proposition or not, but I'm happy with my donuts. Girl, you're gonna dig this. Okay, this box smells like an entire amusement park. Becky, you want to smell this? You mean it smells like kids peeing themselves? No, an amusement park. It smells oh. like cotton candy and crepes and, and like funnel cakes. And like it has like all these different things. Now, here's the thing. Whoa, that's a heavy donut. This is made with vegan cream cheese frosting, which makes me feel scared because I'm used to having like really sugary sweet donuts. Um, and this is with sprinkles, but as they say in, in Australia, hundreds and thousands. It's so big, I don't even, okay. Ah. Oh my God, that can't be vegan. That just tastes like magical icing sugar. I thought it was gonna be hard. It's really soft and fluffy. You see how thick this is? Whoa, that's a lot of cream there, girl. This tastes like birthday cake frosting. When you bite into it, the whole thing tastes like a birthday cake. I expected this to be a really like glossy sugar, but it's a fluffy one. And this really, really reminds me of my childhood because I used to love Guinness from Tim Hortons. And now they changed it. It's no longer hundreds and thousands. It's the sprinkles that are like flat. That doesn't taste the same. That's not even fun. Calling to me still. <laughs> so for this next part of the video, we're going to Smith and Deli, which is a vegan deli. I've never been anywhere like this before. I'm really excited to see what this is like. Also, I feel kind of inspired to eat this food because over the past couple of days, we haven't really been uh, ingesting the, the healthiest things here. My voice is a little bit gone. Martina's voice is entirely gone. Do you want to say something on camera, girl? I can't. It's going to. Oh, no. Nobody can hear you. Sorry. It's just going to be me. But you know what? You're a beautiful girl. I think you're really pretty. I love you. And if I love you the most, then tell me otherwise. What? Wait. If, what I say? If I love you the mo most. <laughs> How does the math work on this? Hold on. Carry the two. you're saying is that looks disgusting and you don't want to eat it. You don't like it when people warm you sandwiches. You prefer cold sandwiches like a barbarian. Oh, we got some cute doggies. Hello, cute doggies. You're a cold doggie, aren't you? It's terrible, isn't it? Waterfall. Did you just say waterfalls? So what we're gonna do now is Martina is going to mouth words and I'm gonna voice it over in her voice. Okay, I love salami. I thought it feels, fake salami would be bullshit. But it's so, it's okay I guess. <laughs> 
my counterpart isn't all too eloquent. Let me try your sandwich and explain it to you. This is this just looks good. Look at it. it's bubbling through like that. I didn't know vegan food could be this good. This is a damn fine sandwich and it's spicy. It's got a really good peppery kick. It's got fake pastrami. It's got fake cheese, roasted red peppers on this as well, and a phenomenal crunch. This is a really good sandwich. You wouldn't even think about it being vegan. You just think, oh my God, this is delicious. This is delicious. Mm. Okay. Okay, first of all, what is up with Melbourne's weather? It was beautiful and sunny when we left, and now it's cold and rainy. And I have a feeling that it's gonna start snowing in a half an hour, and then there's gonna be like a beautiful sunstorm. This weather is messed up. Yeah, sunstorm, it's like when you got the sunshine and the rain coming. You never heard that before? Of course you have. What I'm eating today is a foghorn legless. This is fake chicken schnitzel, fake bacon, and vegan ranch. Is this gonna be blasphemy? Let me see. Back in my day, when I had fake meat, it just tasted like soggy cardboard with salt and pepper on it. This actually tastes like a chicken schnitzel. This bacon actually has bacon flavor. This ranch, you would never know that it's vegan. There's no reason for you to not to have this ranch as opposed to regular ranch. It's so juicy. Like, the fake meat is juicy. I'm so confused, because usually the juiciness of meat comes from the fat that's in it, but this doesn't have fat because it's not real meat. Oh man, do you want to try some? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You want me to keep eating is what you just said? Mmm, this is a great experience. Smith and Deli, you'll get some phenomenal sandwiches and you won't feel that bad about eating processed meat. Hey, I challenge any sandwich snob to come here, have a couple of sandwiches and tell me that they're not amazing. If all vegan food was like this, I'd be pursuing it a lot more because I've had a lot of bad vegan food. This is great. I really like Melbourne so far. This is awesome. I'm gonna have your sandwich now because you can't tell me not to. <laughs> Girl, well, have a bite of pie. <laughs> I wasn't joking about the Melbourne weather. I literally filmed that complaint about the weather two minutes ago. Look at how beautiful this is now. This is crazy. How do you go outside without bringing a suitcase everywhere you go in Melbourne? This is nuts. So we're going for coffee now at Seven Seeds Specialty Coffee. Melbourne has a very thriving and vibrant coffee scene. Martina's getting the flat white, I'm getting the cold brew. Mine already came out, I'm thoroughly impressed. It comes with one of those gigantic ice cubes, which I prefer as opposed to lots of small ice cubes that dilute your coffee very quickly. This is gonna be really enjoyable. That is a lovely cold brew. It's probably the most aromatic cold brew that I had. I, it hit my nose a lot harder than it hit my mouth right away. I'm actually really excited about this. We came here just for coffee, that's all I was expecting, but they have a really interesting menu. We now have the strawberry crumpets, which are crumpets with macerated strawberries, hazelnut crumble, lemon butter, and squacaroni cheese, which I've never heard about before, which sounds completely ridiculous. It sounds like a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Oh wow, it looks like the lemon butter has really soaked through into this right here. Let's see what this is all about. As embarrassing as that bite was, is how delicious this thing is. I'm shocked. You rarely get really good food at a coffee shop. If a place is known for coffee, they usually sell some like overpriced food that is okay, but not really that great. This is one of my favorite examples of crumpets I've ever had. Crumpet isn't dry at all. It's absorbed all the juicy flavors of what we have here. The squacaroni cheese has a sweetness in it, almost like a mascarpone. The macerated strawberries aren't overly sweet like macerated strawberries can be. They still maintain a fresh flavor to them. And the honey isn't overwhelming either. All the combinations of flavors in this, absolutely delightful. Mushroom foam. Microfoam. Did you just try to say microphone check us to spring sword selector? Yes. I love you girl, we're so connected. You complete me.
guys, I finally got my voice back. It's not great. Sounds a bit on the sexy side, but I'm finally able to speak on camera again. We are having HSP, or as we've heard, HSP. There's an extra like a couple A's in there, right, Ducky? This is Halal Snack Pack. And we were told that if we leave Melbourne without having it, we won't be allowed to leave Australia. So we looked up a place to see what would be the best place we could have HSP. And we are here at Viva Kebabs and Grill, a very highly rated and I cannot wait to dig into this because I am so hungry. Although I will say, I think we're here too early. I think we're supposed to come when we're drunk. a little of everything. This kind of reminds me of poutine, right Ducky? Because it's got like the cheesy goodness. I mean, I don't even know how to eat this. <laughs> okay. Okay, I see why this is the thing. You've got warm french fries, gooey cheese, the lamb is beautifully seasoned, the chili sauce has got a kick, then you get creaminess and like a bite from the garlic. This is like, might be the perfect drunk food. This might be the perfect drunk food. Oh my gosh, Ducky. Did you order anything? Girl, there's no way in blue mercy that you will be able to even finish half of this. I know, it's way too much food. It is really delicious though. Oh man, did you get the shot? You probably didn't get the shot. Mm. Mm. Do you have a fork? Go ahead, eat it all, eat it all. I dare you, I dare you. If you could eat that entire thing, I would give you a thousand dollars right now. But that doesn't mean much because our money is shared and we have a joint account. As a Canadian, I feel kind of embarrassed because this looks like it's going to totally crush poutines. The one thing Canada has to offer for food is about to be put in its place. Oh man. Mmm! The lamb is perfect for the potatoiness of french fries. Did you just say the potatoiness of potato? Yeah, because like, that was a weird explanation. First of all, I have one complaint, and that's about the branding. How is this a snack pack? Who is this a snack to? Andre the Giant? Nobody could eat this and be like, hmm, I felt a little snackish. Let me have this gigantic freaking trough. This is too much food to eat. But it just feels so decadent, doesn't it? Hmm. If you have been living, let me say that again, because I'm food drunk. If you have been living in Melbourne and you haven't tried a HSP, you're doing yourself a disservice. Oh man, I actually think there might be more meat than fries on this. So from what we've been told, if you're drunk, you sometimes want a kebab, but if you're really drunk and you can't operate a kebab, then you settle for an HSP. Let me say, I prefer this so much more than kebabs. I never really was into kebabs, but this, I could definitely, survive. maybe it's my Canadian side, the fries and the cheese, this speaks to me on a genetic level. An insider tip, the holy trinity of sauces. Barbecue sauce, chili sauce, and garlic sauce. That's supposedly a thing. When I said to him the holy trinity, he knew what I was talking about. Don't get any other sauces. You want the holy trinity, boy. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Had an absolutely amazing time in Melbourne guys the food scene here is incredible if you're coming to Australia make sure you think about the food if you want to know the places that we went to we're gonna to link to all of those in our blog post so check out them out there and let us know in the comment section below what did we miss out please let us know so the next time we come back we can go honestly it looks like you're in front of a green screen right now I'm not this, this is looks real. so this fake, is real behind but me. it's gorgeous I'm gonna back out so you guys can see the beauty look at this